We've begun our much anticipated Portugal family vacation here in the amazing city of Lisbon. In our last episode, we took the 45 minute local train ride to Sintra, a fairy tale town of palaces and unique architecture. Now, we are ready to drive south to Portugal's scenic Algarve coast. In this episode, we will showcase one of the country's best family vacation destinations at the luxurious Pine Cliffs Resort near Albufera. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more of our travel vlogs, reviews, and tips. We picked a good day to leave Lisbon as the rain was starting to come down pretty hard. We were in the cab on our way to the airport to pick up the rental car. Get in the rental car. Ah! Livy, you ready to go? Apple CarPlay, that's big. Can't wait to get out of Lisbon here and make our way down south. Not that Lisbon is bad. It's just Love Lisbon. <laughs> just ready to get out of the airport area. Yeah. Okay, so that was a little hectic getting out of the airport, but not too bad. I was told you have to go over the bridge, which we see right ahead. I think we're in good shape. Driving in a foreign, unfamiliar country can be intimidating, but this drive from Lisbon to the Algarve was smooth and only took about two and a half hours. Okay, we are officially in the Algarve. About a little over 20 minutes from our hotel. Sunny skies. Can't wait to get there. Pine Cliffs Resort. There's a lot of different areas to this resort. We'll be checking into the Pine Cliffs Ocean Suites. Okay, we just checked in to 421B here in the Ocean Suites. Not a bad, not a bad room at all. Nice big bathroom here, double sinks. Bathtub, which is good for Vivi. A pretty good size. Shower. Shower. Little toilet area. Some nice space here. Very nice bed frame. Got Vivi her little crib here. Right, Vivi? A nice gesture here by the hotel with a complimentary small bottle of reserve tawny port and two pasta stenadas along with a nice welcome letter. The complimentary waters are important as well. Little desk, TV, couch. And out here, nice view. Little lounge chairs. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Well, this is going to be our home for the next six nights. So, look forward to showing you more around the resort here. And there's just, I think, so much to see and do here. And, and everything's, it shouldn't be a problem to get lots of good footage and have plenty to do. And then also, we're going to travel around the Algarve a little bit. So, all right, well, we got to get settled in here and take care of some things. So, catch up with you later on. We were kind of bummed out that we didn't get upgraded because of our Marriott status, which sometimes happens in Europe when we travel. But hey, we're going to make the best of it, and it's a really nice room. <laughs> All that driving and unpacking really worked us up in appetite, so we decided to head down to the Corda Cafe, which seemed to be like the perfect place to grab some lunch at the resort. Ate at the cafe for a quick lunch. Rich and I both had salads, burrata salad, you have what, the Caesar? Caesar salad. 
Food was okay, I'd say seven and a half actually. Yeah. What would you say? Um, oh, wow! Seven. seven? All right, we'll go with seven. Service was, oh. service was pretty good, like eight. Oh. And uh, the atmosphere? Eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half, yeah. Oh. The resort itself sits a good ways back from the cliffs. So in between the resort and the coastline, you have this unique and large lawn area, which is occupied by many lounge chairs. One thing I really like here are these like pine trees. I don't know what they are. Yeah, they're very, very unique. It's like something in Rome or something, but give it a really cool exotic feel. Ever look in the cliffs here and man, at first glance, this is A plus property. Like these views over the cliffs to the water. Just amazing. Just look at this. Holy smokes. Quite a view, isn't it, Rich? Yes. Really is something. Is. And there's a place here right on the cliffs that we will no doubt get to know pretty well before our stay is over, and that is Mirador, the hors d'oeuvre and champagne bar perched up above the Algarve coastline in super luxurious fashion. Of course, there's a beautiful beach area here, and this is where you gain access to that. There's steps, but also a convenient elevator, which is what most people take. We'll be heading down there later on. Well, it is really something. It isn't is. It? What do you think, Viv? I've never seen anything like it. Mire is the restaurant that you can't really see. It's down there, right on the water. And you can take this lift down there. But there's a, a long path, a walking path that goes all the way down there. We're looking forward to checking that out. I can tell you this, we were here almost a whole week and these views from the cliffs never got old. Also, there's a golf course here that I want to play towards the end of the week, and I just cannot wait. It's only nine holes, but it looks awesome. We're just still exploring the property here. We don't really know what's what yet. And probably another day or so we will. Just picked up our car. We're gonna go to the Pharmacia supermarket and just put in two cold bottles of water. That's five-star service for you. And of course, we had to stop by the wine section. So they do have a pretty good security here at the resort. Good, yeah. Okay. I guess I got a thing on the front windshield. But it's always nice to know that they take security measures here seriously. All right, just made a grocery haul. Mostly just some drinks, food, milk. Stuff for Vivi, some paper towels. Seems like there's a lot of supermarkets and stuff around here. That probably wasn't the best. No, nah, this one wasn't the best. I'll put it down below here what it was. Maybe don't go there. Although I don't know what's around here, so maybe it is one of the better I ones. I think it's the closest one to here, but there is like a continent oh. and um, yeah. what's that? Pingo dose. Pingo dose. Pingo dose that are relatively close as well. Yeah. So we're gonna go look for a restaurant just outside the property here. It looks like there's a main drag with all kinds of good places to eat. And yeah, just kind of casual tonight. We're gonna eat a couple times on the property, which will showcase those restaurants. But tonight we're just going off property and kind of having a simple meal of some sort. <laughs> Once you begin to walk through this place, you just realize it's massive, and more than likely, you could get lost if you tried. There's like a little strip mall here with some places. I think I see the place I'm looking for. We ended up deciding to go to Rustico, it was a perfect little place for us and had all of your traditional Italian food. <laughs> oh, 
How's the salad? Better than the resort one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rachel went with the bolognese. We got a pizza for Vivi and I had a lasagna. Nothing crazy, just did what we needed it to do. Going to bed. <laughs> Got it some breakfast. It was either this or a thousand points every day. Normally we take the points, but I think this will be a better deal. We'll talk more about the breakfast accommodations here at the resort later in the video. Okay, so we're, tonight we're heading down to O Pescador for dinner. That's the uh, that's the resort's you know upscale restaurant for seafood. So we haven't had much seafood this whole trip, um, partly because uh, a few of us have been ill. But we're gonna give it a go, and we had a great day today in the western part of the Algarve. Algarve. We drove all the way out to Sagres to the point there, and we stopped in Lagos. For lunch so video is going to be showing that probably after this one so be sure to check that one out all right we'll see you down at the restaurant wow what a view out here Very good white wine. This very well could have been our favorite meal of our entire Portugal trip. And for them to come out and prepare it the way they did right in front of us on the table was really something special and created a lot of ambiance. The meal wasn't cheap, I will add. The sole and the tiger prawns were great. I mean, just look at that presentation, oh my God. Fresh catch is amazing. Oh my. Vivi's loving the fish. Well, that was a great dinner. Okay, a pescador tonight. Atmosphere, oh, it's got to be a nine? Nine and a half. Yeah. Well, I, guess I mean, it depends on where you're sitting. sitting. I think my seat was nine and a half, yours was nine. Yeah. We'll go nine and a half. I think there's a lot of good seats in there. Um, service was pretty good, it was quick. Uh, we'll go eight and a half yeah. in the service. And then the food, I gotta go nine. That's fresh Fair, seafood. Yeah, Very good. Nine. Could be nine and a half, but we'll go nine. That's a wrap. Well, this is gonna be our first day at the resort yeah, that we're here. So we're gonna enjoy the amenities here. We're gonna see some new areas. We're gonna, I'm gonna head down to the beach. We're gonna go out and walk the beach and really looking forward to it. But just grabbing some breakfast right now. Looks like a nice morning. Vivi should have slept another hour, but that's another story. So check back in a little later. So we just had breakfast. Now walking along the cliffs here. They're getting set up for the day. They don't start here until later. Yeah. It's like nine o'clock. That's, that's the European. It's it's not like America or in the Caribbean. You run out and get your chair at seven a.m. and put your towel on there. It's <laughs> not really the deal here. Not really the deal here. It's like more low key. Yeah, very low key. That's where we had dinner last night at O Pescador. I'm gonna check out the beachfront area. We're not gonna go 
down and hang out because we got to get ready and get our swimsuits and everything. But I can't wait any longer. We got to go see what this is all about, huh, baby? And there's a ton of steps here. Holy smokes. Oh. Mare is one of the resort's signature restaurants slash bars, which sits right on the beach. I mean, can you really think of a better setting than this? Well, it was a long ways to come down and just look. <laughs> but we're coming. We're going to be coming down later. This looks really nice. And these are all for the guests staying at the Pine Cliffs. Vivi seems to be feeling a little bit better. Man, she had a rough morning. Woke up an hour early. We don't know if that triggered it, but man, she was a terror at breakfast. Was screaming her head off, eventually brought her outside by the pool and took her around in the stroller and she fell asleep. So, thank goodness. Okay, we'll see what this is all about. Man, beautiful beach. Holy crap. Oh yeah, it's cold. It feels great. I've been sick like the last three days, so this is like so nice to get in here and get the salt all through your body. Oh my, what a view. If I had to guess, I'd say this was like 77 degrees, 76 in here, something like that. This is nicer than I thought it would be. We are back at Corda Cafe. We're gonna do non-salads today. It's just an easy place to sit down with Vivi and hopefully we'll give a better score this time. Their chicken nuggets were actually pretty good. <laughs> they were good. Yeah, your chicken nuggets were good. We're gonna get those again. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy are just gonna split a burger. Chicken Vivi's nuggets. chicken nuggets, they are good chicken nuggets. And then we got a nice looking burger here. Yes. Bun looks really good. A little bit of fries. All right, round two at Quarter Cafe. A little better than the first time. Yes. I would say go for the food there, not the salads. Like um, the uh, sandwich thing is probably. Yeah, yeah. The, the burger was actually pretty good. Really good bun. Nothing wrong with it. I think a solid eight for the burger. Mm -hmm. Fries were good, nothing wrong with them. Service, atmosphere the same. There you have it. This resort has a little bit of White Lotus to it. Yeah, maybe not as snooty. As snooty, it's bigger than maybe a yeah. White Lotus uh, <laughs> resort, but it, it they could film an episode mm -hmm. here. There's no doubt about it. Cheers, Rach. Yeah. Some yeah. Portuguese vino verde.
Okay, so tonight for dinner, staying on property, but we're going over to the residences here, to Ogrill. About a 15 minute walk, but it's really nice walking through the more, I guess you would say timeshare, ownership area. And uh, it's really nice to see, really beautiful. Um, so we'll see what kind of food they have here and we'll check in there. The scenery here was absolutely gorgeous and the presentation and food selection here at the buffet was certainly top notch. I mean, they had all kinds of stuff that you would find locally here in Portugal and maybe some other things that you would find back home. So just absolutely tremendous place to have dinner. Just had dinner at Ogrill. Ogrill, what's your surprise? It was a buffet for dinner. We, we had no idea what to expect. We just walked about 10 minutes here to the residences and uh, Ogrill, oh wow. Very <laughs> good. Oh, wow. Very good. Um, I would say atmosphere is, it was overlooking the golf course. It was just amazing. I would say nine at least. Yeah, I'd say nine. Almost nine and a half. Nine. Nine. A good nine. The service was very good. Yeah. We'll eight go and eight and a half. And then we'll go the food. Eight. Eight, eight to eight and a half. There you have it. That was a nice evening. Well, we had a lovely day today in Tavira and we went to, I guess the, the place was Tor, uh, to do some wine tasting. So we're back here at the resort and we are gonna go to the champagne bar, have some nice views, have a cocktail before dinner and we're almost there. Good enough for her. <laughs> okay, so for tonight's dinner, just going off property. Um, just gonna grab a pizza. We actually made our big reservations for the week for tomorrow night at Piri Piri Steakhouse, which is the I probably the premier restaurant on the property. So. <clears throat> Looking forward to that, and yeah, I just want something simple tonight, which is what we're gonna do. Vibby likes pizza, so that's easy. And then we're just gonna go back to the room, enjoy our balcony, maybe have a glass of wine or two, and uh, enjoy the luxury of being here at Pinecliffs Resort. Almost there. I see it, pizzeria. The menu is right here for you to see in a big window. That's a big high chair. Yeah, I know, it's kind of cool. Uh -oh. 
it's actually uh, like a chair. A table leg, dude. Yeah. Which is unique for here. So my wife can pick out anything. She's amazing. She said, that waiter is the same waiter we had at breakfast this morning at a different establishment on property at the resort. I said, well, I don't know. And sure as hell, he come up and says, oh, I waited on you this morning. The guy works from 5 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. and sleeps four hours. Not even, he can't sleep four hours. I don't know how you do that. He says that he's basically off starting November though. Like, yeah, he's off in November. This is a busy season. Hey, uh, all the power to him. Workaholic. That is a workaholic. So when we ordered the glasses of wine, they said, would you like a small or large? And I thought, oh, you know. He thought it was a four, like a six yeah. ounce, nine ounce yeah, thing. Yeah, six ounce, nine ounce thing like in the like, US. could have just shared this jug here. I mean, there's a freaking small <laughs> jug and a big jug. <laughs> I think it was four four euros for that and nine euros for that. What if I would have caught that one too? Would have a whole bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean we don't have to drink it all, but goodness, you can get wine at very good prices here in Europe, and at home it's it's so outrageously overpriced. And this is better than the wine we had. This is though. better than a lot of the wine we've we've had at home. And it's definitely better than the wine, than the wine that. The that we went to today in Portugal. It was somewhat disappointing. You'll see that in our other video. Oh, oh. A, yeah. Oh, it's a hard shade. <laughs> Look at that, baby. You want to try it? Yeah, you eat she pizza. will. Yeah. Okay. She Thank definitely you. will. Dish one out, thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh, what's that? Pizza. Does Bibi approve of the pizza? Yep, going for seconds already. All right, what do we think about the pizza here? It's, it's really not bad. It's like, it's you would cooked think pretty it, good. You think it would look more, like, the way it looks, you know, it tastes better than the way it looks. Mm-hmm. Like, if this was at home mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, it would, it would do well. Yeah. I mean, it's not the best pizza I ever had, but it's certainly far from the worst. Yeah. All right. San Martino restaurant. Yeah. I mean, it, it was about what I expected. I wasn't let down. No. Um, Fit the bell. Yeah. We'll run the course here. Atmosphere. Eh, yeah, six. Yeah. Um, food. <laughs> yeah, food. I mean, you know, seven and a half to eight. I, I have to go eight. Yeah, I think the pizza was pretty good. I think you're a tougher critic than me about pizza for some reason. Yeah. The pizza was actually not bad. And the, and the service was good. It was... Eight and a half. half. Yeah, eight and a half. All right, so I just left Vivi and Rach and heading over to the golf course. It's a nice little walk through here, through the tennis. And the uh, residences here. This is where we walked the other night for dinner. And nice morning so far. They're calling for cloudy conditions. It's hard to believe looking at it right now. But either way, it's not supposed to rain, so it's going to be a great day. And then we're going to try to hit up the beach later today and end the day at Piri Piri Steakhouse at the front of the property, which I am really looking forward to. So, fantastic Friday here in the world. Had to rent shoes. Taking a couple clubs here to the driving range. And I should be able to get out. I guess I'm playing with two other people. Done. 
I got paired up with two guys from Toronto, Canada, Will and Howie. They were awesome and made the round even so much better than it was. After hitting our tee shots on number five, we had to walk down the hill a little bit here and just check out the amazing views over the ocean. I mean, it's truly spectacular. Can you even see the green? Yeah, barely. I mean, barely. This would be a hard shot. This is number six over the canyon. Oh, nicest hole on the course. Just hit an eight iron way far left and a nine iron way far right. Really cool. Really neat golf hole. Smoke this drive, about 300. This is for a case of steam whistle. That's right. Nice, oh. beauty, and on film and everything. Look at that. Birdie. If this goes on by, mark my words, I own my case of steam whistle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did say that. <laughs> Okay, just finished up nine holes, played with some really cool guys from Toronto. Uh, super chill guys, really enjoyed it. Will and Howie, shout out to you guys. Um, but yeah, it was a par 32, didn't lose a ball. It was four over par, so I shot 36. Made one birdie, which was on camera. Yeah, just really enjoyed it. Just beautiful course. I really love the pine trees all around the course and everything. It's just super gorgeous. Just take a look. So I could play again this afternoon as part of the package, but we all know that's not going to happen. Okay, I got myself a post round super bock from the fridge. Got my swim trunks on. Going to meet Rach and Vivi. They are all the way down on the beach. I cannot wait to get down there. I hear you breathe, that healthy breath. I know it's all of you that I get. One bedroom flat, I lock the door and put that photo of her on the floor. Be never. Who did we find here? Hello, Vivi. Nice spot, huh? Life's good, isn't it? Water is freezing. Oh, feels good. I can't wait to get in it. Look at the cliffs over there. It's such a different, it's a different vibe. vibe than at home. Right, Vivi? The only thing is the water is so cold. Water feels good. Oh yeah. <laughs> and of course we couldn't leave the resort without going to Mare, right on the beach. What a view here for lunch, huh? What a view. Yeah. We share the last cigarette. 
Alright, so we had lunch today at Mare. I think I think that's how you pronounce it, Mare. Um First of all, the atmosphere there is really good. It's nine and a half or ten. Yeah, the only thing is we sat right directly in the sun. We were in the sun. That was my fault. Mm -hmm. But it, let's say you have some shade. I mean, it's it's a ten. Yeah. You're on the beach. I mean, you're looking over the sea. And there's the glass walls there that you can see right through. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, looking right down on the people on the beach. Ten. Service. It's fine. Eight. Nothing great about it, nothing terrible. And then the food, where'd you go? Mm. Eight and a half? Eight to eight and a half. We'll go eight and a half. I thought it was, mm -hmm. it was decent. The fries were good. I mean, I just had a chicken wrap. I'm sure if you get the seafood, it's pretty good and fresh. So there you have it. I mean, if you're staying here, you got, you got to go experience it either for lunch or dinner for sure. Or at the very least, a couple drinks out on the uh, patio area there. Rachel loves Super Bach. Mm -hmm. It's good beer. <laughs> it is good beer. White wine and Super Bach. That's your Portuguese go to? Yeah. tonight we're going to Piri Piri Steakhouse and that is the I think one of the flagship restaurants here on property really looking forward to this dinner we booked it later for the week because we weren't feeling good earlier in the week but we're all good now and I really want to see how this you know five-star resort does a steak the prices look to be about the same as what you would order at, say, like a JW Marriott or something. I think home. it may be a little bit cheaper just because it's yeah. Portugal, but you're right. Yeah. You're not worried about <laughs> Yeah. Um, but for this area, it is expensive. Expensive, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm expecting big things. The restaurant looks amazing. It looks like something you would go to in like Aruba, something like that we used to outdoor setting, stuff like that. But just a short walk up here. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the one dinner in the Algarve that I've been looking forward to the most all week. So very interesting to see the review after this. <laughs> I have high expectations. Damn. We gotta watch through here. Some of the cars, some of the cars come flying through here, especially at night. You can't see anything. Be careful. So if you walk to this restaurant, it's just right outside of the front gates here. Which is a beautiful little courtyard, right when you pull into the resort this is the courtyard here and we are just going through I know we shouldn't order Spanish wine in Portugal right uh, we've been drinking Portuguese <laughs> wine all week since then you arrived yeah okay very good Yep. But this is almost Portuguese, can you say? Because it comes in the, um, from the Duero River. Yep. It's the same one for yep. the porch one. Yeah, familiar. This is Bella Temparillo. Very good. Right. Now you got the wine disc. Nice. Look at that. Very nice. <laughs> we use those at home. They're really nice. Thanks. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. I like that. Thank you. The stakes here range anywhere from 37 to 138 euros. We've been drinking Portuguese wine all week and we love wines from Spain. So that's what we decided to go with here for dinner. I think it's gonna go great with the steak. Is this a ribeye? Yeah, this is a ribeye. Ribeye is good. Really nice taste to it. I read the note. This is the uh, tenderloin. No sauces on them yet. No, it's good. It's not as good. It's good. We've got the chorizo rice. Oh, that's really good. Definitely recommend the rice. All right, well, Vivi's not feeling good. Um, I don't know if she came down with something that we had or whatever, she's teething. I think she is teething. We're packing up the dinner. We are taking it back to the place, bottling up the wine, or corking up the wine. And uh, I don't know, I'm more concerned about Vivi than I am about the dinner. But hey, uh, let's do a quick review here while we have time. <clears throat> atmosphere eight and a half, service and food both nine. I think you could get a nine here atmosphere at dinner. Um, phenomenal place, people are so friendly. The food is fantastic. Keep this one on your list if you're coming to um, Pine Cliffs Resort. Perry Perry Steakhouse, you have to come here. Tiago, yeah, hello. Tiago. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you, sir. It's a real pleasure. Yeah. Tiago's great. If you come here to Piri Piri Steakhouse, ask for Tiago. Thank you very much. He's from Brazil. He's authentic. He knows his stuff. Knows his wine and the steaks. Very resourceful. Make sure you ask for him. Well, I think we have a teething daughter getting her top two teeth. Hey, what are you going to do? Her head's getting a little hot. Our waiter, Tiago, said that his daughter is two months older than Vivi. And has had the same thing happen recently. Same symptoms, same the whole deal. So, hopefully that's just it. And it's not anything else. But that's all I can think about right now is Vivi's health. We're taking the steaks and the wine with us. What are you going to do? These things happen when you travel with an 11 month old, as you all know. So, check back in here soon. What a beautiful evening. <coughs> yeah, Vivi. We see that. Nice little kid center here. Yes, it is. There's our room. Finally found the courtyard where our room is. <laughs> after what, five days? Yeah. Oh, that's the healthy food. Place. There's our room up there. They have healthy food. Zest. Oh. Okay. There's a culinary school. A lot of stuff here that we're not doing. So, lots of cool things here. Well, this is our last full day here at the resort and it is a rainy morning. Woke up to rain showers, although the skies look like they're gonna clear. And I'm really gonna miss this morning walk over to breakfast. <clears throat> it's been a nice little stroll every morning to <clears throat> leave the hotel, walk by the beach here. And then circle back in to the other part of the hotel for the buffet breakfast. Yeah, yeah you're gonna miss it too, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
All right, when you come off the elevator, you can just set it there. Thank you. You can have a nice little stand here while you're waiting, and champagne and pastas de notas. Our experience overall at Jardim Colonial, where the breakfast buffet is, has been pretty good all week. I mean, some of the things here are good, some not so much. You know, some of the hot items like sausages and uh, bacon, or yeah, they're okay. But all the other stuff is pretty good, and, and it really worked out for us. For me personally, pretty much every day I got the pancakes, strawberries, and some Nutella. So for lunch today, we're gonna eat at the golf club. Hot. Yeah, you like chicken Yay. nuggets. Okay, so we just had lunch over here at the golf club. Simple lunch. You had nachos. Mm -hmm. I had uh, a Portuguese steak sandwich. Prego. Prego, it was called. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, atmosphere is kind of nice. Yeah. I'd say the atmosphere is probably That'd like probably be better. eight and a half. It's starting to be a rainy afternoon. Oh. Yeah, it kind of rained on us. Eight and a half, I'd say, for the atmosphere. Food and service, I'd say seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Nothing uh, I would go out of your way for, but if you're looking for a quick and sandwich. If you're here for a long time, it's another alternative place to go. Yeah. If you're here for a week, Put it on the list maybe for one day during lunch or after a round of golf. I'm gonna get some gelato here right in the middle of the resort. What kind do you want, huh? What'd you get, Rach? You got strawberry sorbet and then chocolate gelato. Strawberry chocolate. So Ooh. I like because like a chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sure, it'll be good. Just telling Rach, you know what they need at these pools here? Is, and it's nice and quiet, there's a little bit of music playing, but it's just kind of odd. They need a DJ. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. Somebody in the corner, it's got some speakers playing some chill music. I think that would really add something here. So, Pine Cliffs, if you're watching, a little suggestion for you. All right, so our last um, daylight time here today at the resort, it's sad. We gotta leave tomorrow at 10 a.m. One more dinner tonight, one more evening out on the patio. We gotta pack up. And tomorrow morning, that'll be a wrap here. I went quick. This week went really quick. So one thing I want to mention about the Zest Pool here, that's kind of on the side of the resort. You don't get any ocean views or anything. But if you come early enough, or later, you can get some of these cabana beds. You don't got to reserve them. It's like first come, first serve. So you come out here and get it and, and lay out and... You know, typically these things cost like two, three hundred dollars a day or more, depending on where you're at. So that is one little pro tip if you're looking to get some cool, uh, a cool layout spot here at the pool. Vivi, you ready to go out to eat? Uh. Last dinner here. <laughs> mm, maybe not sure. Yeah. Right, final dinner tonight. We decided to go back to the buffet over at O'Grill. Yes. O'Grill. O'Grill. So here was my mistake, and this is totally my fault last time. I thought there was two different prices that you would just pay for the inside portion of the buffet was a lower price, and then they had the three stations with the really exquisite grill food 
and that was another price. Well, that wasn't the case. So I didn't get any of the good grill food, but I wasn't completely hungry that night anyway, so I wouldn't have eaten a ton of it. So we're going back and I'm getting the good stuff this time. Yeah, whatever that is. Whatever that is, I think it's local seafood, grill, um, some local dishes, but that's what we're doing. Final thoughts on the property here while we're walking to dinner. Uh, I think it's a beautiful property. It kind of reminds me of being somewhere like in Riviera Maya. Not the actual scenery, but you're sort of isolated here. Yes and yeah. no. I mean, you can walk you can a few drive restaurants. Places, yeah. You can drive places easily. You really want to drive a car. Yeah, you need here. to have a car unless you just want a resort yeah. stay. I would love to stay in one of these residences yeah, here. Yeah, residence would be nice. Um, like, we didn't have a kitchen this time. And yeah, if we, would have had the, if we would have had the upgraded room, we would have had the kitchen. Where that would have made the biggest difference was last night's dinner when we had to bring it home. Yeah. And uh, to go. And we were attending the Vivi. She wasn't feeling well. I think she was teething and um, whatnot. But we would have had to been able to store that mm -hmm. and cooked it later. But we couldn't do that. So... Yeah, I mean, I would definitely come back here. I think it is a great place. It's oh, the yeah. first time I've ever stayed in a resort or in Europe. Right. So it is a little different than what we're probably used to in oh, the there's, Caribbean and there's some different Florida. There's some differences that you notice from back home or in the Caribbean, North America, is the one that I notice is, um, well, everybody's friendly. But the service with, like, bars and restaurants. So, you know, for dinner, let's say you order a beer. They're not going to come back right away and be like, hey, can I no. get you another beer? No, and I guess we know You that have like, to ask we them. We know that when we go to, like, Paris, necessarily, yeah. but, like, you don't... But you would know. you would think at a resort that they would keep coming, you know, yeah. and, you know, people are on vacation here and stuff. Oh, and the other big and one, which you know... That's a cultural before, thing. It's yeah. not... It, it has nothing to do with this place. Which I like is a plus, and for the most part, is I like that you don't have to go run out and get your chair at 7 a.m. Yes. Like a lot of places we go, you have to, people you're not supposed to, but everybody does, they reserve their right. their beach or- Yeah, like in Aruba, or, yeah. in Aruba, if you're not out there at 7 a.m., forget it. You have to be before it. 7 a.m. in Aruba. Forget or, it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like they don't so, even, the pools don't even open typically till like till nine. nine. Yeah, so. so you don't have to worry about that. That's a nice thing. Um, I'm trying to think what else would be a major difference. Some of the stuff in the rooms and stuff like that, I don't think are quite as nice, maybe, here. Um, and we don't know, too. Everything kind of changed after COVID. Yeah. You know, you just don't yeah, I, I mean, I'm not trying to nitpick, but, um, you know, like, they didn't replenish the shampoo, conditioner, and stuff I think there every was a day. There wasn't consistency for it being a five-star with yeah. like they, they have these people that come for them turn down service or to replenish your coffees and cheese and waters right it didn't seem like they consistently came like yeah so that's why things were yeah like every day wasn't right. like consistent right but all in all it was a unbelievable unforgettable experience here the golf course was great a bit expensive but you're in portugal you're playing golf on the cliffs suck it up and play one. Oh, the other thing you see here is these cats yeah you don't see you wouldn't see this at an american or north american resort but these cats are just everywhere and they're they're climbing I all over Aruba, yeah yeah, yeah but but you wouldn't see it at a private no. marriott resort in america but yeah they're just all over the place and again they don't, seem to bother anyone, they don't bother anybody man they're not going to steal your food or anything but yeah, just some final thoughts here of the whole week, and uh, yeah, let's but go grab. Almost a week. The week I know. Fast. I know. Well, let's grab dinner. All right. So this pool here at the O Grill, Rach says, is looks like the nicest one. Yes. She thinks that we would have had access to this today. But it is quite far from where we're staying. But it, it, it is, is nice. but not that. Far. No, it's not that. It's a ten to twelve if minute we were, like, walk. Like at the Atlantis or something, it'd be the same. Yeah, it'd be the same. Else. Yeah, if you were staying in Vegas at Caesars yeah. or Atlantis, it'd be the same exact walk. So it's not that far. Um, yeah, just man, this whole property. This, one, this area here really has like country club vibes to me more. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, this, this area is so nice over here in these residences. I mean, 
super nice. Try this fish station. Some barbecue pork here, pork ribs. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bam off. That's good. Well, once again, the O Grill did not disappoint. O Grill, oh wow. O Grill, oh wow, again. <laughs> um, this time. I think I had a better experience this time because maybe knew. Yeah, I think we kind of knew. We knew kind of what to do, but. You have to go get the fresh fish off of the grill there. I mean, the chef has it going, salting it. Like, this is f fish that was probably swimming this morning or very, yeah. very recently. And the sea bass was really, really good. Of course, you got to pick it apart, like, true style. But, and it's not Chilean sea bass. It's not the thick cuts of sea bass that we're used to at home. It's... I almost want to be a sole fish. Yeah, like, almost like a sole. And the swordfish was really good there. Um, they probably have to go a ways out offshore to get that, but really good experience. Just a just a great place for dinner here. And they did change some things up from the last time. Yeah, so you get variety. It's not the day. exact same thing, which is what you like to see. So if you're here for a week, you come here, you know, three four days apart, twice, you're gonna have two kind of different experiences. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it, the ogre. So glad we came here this week. What an experience. Definitely a place we'll, we'll have in the back of our minds to come back to, for sure. Don't know when, and don't know if we'll do it the same way or what, but definitely la left a lasting impression on us. And really looking forward to seeing the uh, pictures and videos from this trip because man the scenery here is just unbelievable I'm say rage it's beautiful the nicest lounge bars or whatever I've been oh, yeah. to one of my favorite hotel bars ever 